Uh, hi everyone. Um, well, you know what? It's time to steam, guys. I mean, at this point of the story, we gotta be serious uh, and have a steam page for wishlisting at least. I'm not saying for releasing the game. That's definitely something we don't want to talk about. Uh, so yeah, this is my goal now. Well, doing some research and reviewing some steam pages, I figured out that I need something to show. Uh, <laughs> possibly cool. So I decided to take some photos of my dog. Unfortunately, I then realized that I have to show something from my game, not just something cool, and also that I don't really have a dog. So this is how this story started. And, and you might ask yourself why I'm saying this. Well, that's a really fair question. I'm not sure I, I have an answer for that. But what I know is that I'm gonna start this little series about me trying to do stuff that will lead me to a trailer and possibly to a Steam page. Now, I don't know how many episodes I'll have to make before I get to this point. I hope not much. But if you're interested in seeing this, don't forget to subscribe. And also, if you're not interested, uh, just consider it. Okay, let's start with the first thing. Many of you pointed this out. When you jump in this world, you can notice that everything is like static. So I have to fix this. And to fix it, I started from the wind. It's a really important aspect here, so I have to do it right. It has to be noticeable when an island is windy. But how to achieve this? Well, I already had some wind particles, if you remember. I changed the texture from the last time. It's a trail, it's not from the Unity particle system. Then I added some leaves particles. The thing that you want to mess up with is this guy over here. It helps a lot with the motion. And last but not least, some realistic animations for the wind. <laughs> Okay, this is not bad. I think this is exactly how trees would look if they were able to uh, like drink alcohol and the party and all that kind of stuff. But we don't have drunk trees here, so this is what I end up with. And ignore for a second the fact that those trees are in the middle of the desert. This is the final look of the windy thing. It seems kind of clear to me. I mean, if you step here and see this thing, you can tell, okay, this is, this is windy. Uh, this is definitely windy maybe too much um and in my opinion it gives more life to the world which is back to the original goal uh good for the trailer i also want to show in the trailer the core mechanic of the game which is exploiting different characteristics of the islands to survive so i think this boy might help this is a climate sensor from an old video to have information about the islands i animated it so now when you place it bad animation starts uh those guys are aligning to something that does not exist and you can see that it turns saying information gathering there is nothing to gather though i could just give the result instantly but <laughs> and i don't know if you remember the perfectly working monitor rotation from the last time well i had to change it it, it was too good to be a thing so yeah, this is our new boy. Next important mechanic of Astoria is uh, the farming system and what we're gonna see today is how I can put it in the trailer. First thing first, the placing. Pretty straightforward. The pot and the advanced pot that you cannot place manually but you have to build it. I made also some variation of the trees that you can plant. Uh, if you remember, we have terrain fertility. Uh, as you can see, this is 1%, it's basically poop. Well, actually poop is good for plants, so not really poop. So this is what can happen. Starting from the natural tree that you can find on islands, we have this uh, that grew on low fertile terrain, this one on medium low, medium high, and high fertility. The higher the fertility, the more fruits you get. In this case, the fruit is the dirt, so you are putting the seeds in the dirt to have more dirt, because this is a dirt tree. Yeah, fun. So what I'd like to do is to convey this idea of fertility uh, in the trailer, showing different plants and also that you can do all this stuff on your A-ship, managing your space uh, and everything you, you want to do, basically. You can do whatever you want. You can place them whatever, like really whatever. No, I'm kidding. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely kidding. Farming system, though, it's not just that. Uh, there are many more things like humidity, temperature, mixing species, the moon can affect the crop and so on. But for now, it's just that uh, I gave myself a deadline to do everything for the Steam page. So we'll see what happens. And until then, take care.